Hello, it's me, Moses Ender. In today's video, I will explain you the role of the mandrel in cylindrical lithium ion cells. You will learn what the role of that small tube in the center of cylindrical lithium ion cells is, what it does in keeping them safe, and why not all cells have one. The small tube that is found in the center of some 18650 cells is mostly known as mandrel but sometimes it is also referred to as center pin or winding core. No matter how you call it, it is a small tube that sits at the core of the jelly roll. All the mandrels that I have seen so far were thin steel tubes with an outer diameter of 2-3 to three millimeters. But some patterns also describe that the mandrel can be produced from plastics. I have not seen it so far, so if you came across non-metal mandrels, please let me know in the comments. The name winding core can be a bit misleading since the mandrel is in most cases inserted after the winding. This has to do with the automation of the production process. Typically, the separator is clamped between two pins of the winder, sometimes also called the winding plates. This picture is from a manual winder because it is easier to see, but the principle is the same in the automatic production equipment. Those pins are removed after the winding and automatically clamp again the separator start for the next jelly roll. The mandrel is then inserted afterwards, which also explains the tapered ends of most mandrels. This process is much easier than fixing the separator each time to a new winding core. However, winding the electrodes directly around the mandrel is described in some patterns, and I do not know if that procedure is also applied in mass production. If you do, please let me know in the comment section. Okay. Let's now get into the task of the mandrel, or more precisely, the two tasks it has. First, it stabilizes the structure of the jelly roll during the normal operation. When the electrodes show a swelling over lifetime, the mandrel puts some pressure against the electrodes stack from the center, so that deformation of the electrodes is limited. To support this function, some mandrels have more like a C shape to allow some spring functionality to keep the pressure more constant. The second task it has is during a cell failure. As you have heard in my previous video about the CID, abuse conditions and finally the thumb runaway of a cell leads to gas generation. This gas has to exit the cell housing through the vent structure in the top cap. And for this, the hollow core of the jelly roll plays an important role. It works like a highway for the gas to get from the bottom part of the cell to the vent. However, if the core collapses either through the gas pressure swelling of the electrodes or an external deformation, the gas cannot be released fast enough, which leads to an uncontrolled breach of the cell housing. Mostly, that is a bottom or sidewall rupture. This can, in many cases, be prevented by the mandrel. But in some cases, the mandrel can also become a problem. Depending where in the cell the thermal runaway starts and how tight the mandrel sits inside the jelly roll, the pressure can also eject the mandrel. With this, can damage or even block the vent structure, which might lead to an uncontrolled rupture or decrimping of the cell. This can be nicely seen in this high-speed X-ray tomography of a cell during thermal runaway from Finnegan et al., where the mandrel is pushed upwards and the cell decrims and ejects the mandrel and the electrodes. Another problem can occur if the mandrel sits not tight enough in the core of the jelly roll. In case the cell experiences high accelerations in shocks or vibrations, the mandrel can become loose and damage either the tabs that connect the jelly roll to the terminals or it can damage the CID structure. All of this must be considered when designing a cell which leads to some cells having a mandrel and others not. If you know of an additional reason why a cell should or should not have a mandrel, please let me know. I have also not yet seen 21700 cells with a mandrel, so please share your experiences and insights in the comments below. That's it for today. I hope you found this video interesting and learned something new. If so, please leave a like and subscribe. See you in one of my next videos. Till then, stay charged.